Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. In this question, we're gonna, uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, parabolas, right? So we're going to be talking about parabolas and uh, this is the third video on conic sections. So before we get started, uh, this is a website address that is perfect-scores.com. Uh, don't forget to explore more about us on this uh, website and this would be our Facebook page to give us your valuable like. And this would be the email address to give us your valuable feedback. Just make sure that you visit the website. Uh, there's lots more there. And uh, let's get started, guys. So uh, in the previous video, we talked about circles. We talked about, uh, you know, conic sections and everything. Now, so in those videos, we discussed about parabola. That parabola is something that, uh, you know, it's created if you cut the conic section at an angle which is actually lesser, uh, which is actually equal to the angle made by uh, the vertical axis. So let's suppose this is the, the conic section and this is angle alpha. And if you kind of cut this, cut the, cut the conic section at angle, at angle alpha only, then you're going to get a parabola. So in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the definition of parabola and various properties of a parabola. So what is the definition of a parabola? How do you actually define a parabola? Now, a parabola has certain features. So the first thing that it has, it is actually a line. And that line is actually known as the directrix, right? And uh, let's suppose this is our parabola here. Now, what, what are these set of points defined as? Now, there is actually a point here, let's suppose we call this point as point F, which is also known as the focus of parabola. Now, a uh, parabola is a collection of points where the distance between, so, so what are these points? So, let's suppose I want to define this point. Now, this point, uh, the distance between this point and this point over here is equal to the distance between this point and this line. And this point over here, the distance between this point and this point is actually equal to the distance between this point and this line. Again, this point, distance between this point and this point is actually equal to the distance between this point and this line. So a parabola is actually collection of all those points. It's a collection of all those points who, which are equidistant. So the points which are equidistant from a fixed line. So they are equidistant from a, a fixed line, which is actually called the directrix, and a fixed point, right? And a fixed point in the plane, right? So that is the definition of a parabola, which says that it's the collection of points which are equidistant from a point, let's suppose that point is F, and from a line which is called the line, uh, line is called as directrix. Now one assumption that we make is that, that this point is not on the line. So the point is not on the directrix, it does not lie on the directrix, it actually lies on some place else. So this is the definition of a parabola. So I'll just, you know, reiterate what I just said. I'll just redefine the definition, uh, just re-say the definition. Parabola is a set of all points in a plane. It's a set of all the points in a plane which are equidistant from a point and the line. Uh, so which are equidistant from the point and the line. So this distance is equal to this distance. 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 And as you can see, as the parabola expands further, uh, you can clearly see that uh, the, the distance between the point and the parabola keeps on increasing and so does the distance between the line and the parabola. So this definition will actually stay intact and one assumption that we have is that the point does not lie on the directrix. Now what if the point lies on the directrix? Let's suppose what if I say this is the directrix and this is the same point here. Now, what you're going to get uh, for this definition, that is, uh, it's a collection of points which are equidistant from the point and the line. Then you're going to get a perpendicular line here because 
the, if this point, the distance between the point and the line is same. For this point, the distance between the point and the line is same. For this point, the distance between the point and the line is same. So that means you're not going to get a parabola if this assumption is not true. That is the point does not lie on the directrix. So this, this assumption has to be true if we have to define a parabola. And this case is actually called, if this happens, if the point lies on parabola, sorry, if the point lies on the direct line, on the, on our directrix, then this will actually be known as the degenerate case of parabola. So this over here will be known as the degenerate case of parabola, right? Something just to put it out there, nothing important. So let's understand all the uh, various features, you know, various uh, definitions of uh, various components of parabola. Now this line over here is known as the directrix as I've already told you. And then you have the line uh, on which your point F is there, which is actually known as focus. And this line is known as the axis of parabola. So this, no, this is known as the axis of parabola and this is your parabola and the intersection of axis and the parabola this point over here is known as the vertex of the parabola right so you have a vertex you have your focus you have your axis and you have your directrix these all four things sorry yeah four things uh, make up the components of a parabola now let's go ahead and understand what are various standard equations of parabola. So let's understand various equations of parabola. So let's say that uh, this is our uh, directrix, you know, this is our directrix here and uh, this is the uh, y axis, you know, let's, let's start by that and this is our x axis. So what we're going to do is initially we're going to uh, understand the equation of a parabola which actually passes through the origin. So we're going to understand the equation because this is the most simplest parabola that you can imagine. And uh, let's suppose that the focus is at a comma zero. Now if the focus is at a comma zero, now we know that uh, this is a comma zero and we know that the distance from here till here is going to be equal to the distance from here till here because that's the definition of parabola. That is the distance from the point to the parabola is equal to the distance from the parabola to the directrix. Which means if this distance is a, this distance will also be a and since this is to the left hand side of the x of the y axis, so this the coordinates of this point are going to be equal to negative a comma zero and the equation of this line will be equal to x is equal to negative a because it's kind of a straight line kind of a perpendicular line which is parallel to y axis so uh, the equation of this line is going to be equal to uh, negative a comma zero now let's suppose we have a point here on uh, the you know on the parabola which we would like to define let's suppose p of x comma y now since uh, we know that uh, the definition of a parabola is that the distance between this point and this focus is going to be equal to the distance between the point and the line. Let's suppose this point over here is known as point B. Let's say this is known as point N. This is known as point O. Now, what are, what are going to be the coordinates of point B? Now, this is 90 degrees and even this over here is 90 degrees, which means uh, the x coordinate is going to be equal to negative a and the y coordinate is actually going to be equal to y. x coordinate is going to be equal to negative a because this is perpendicular like this, this is perpendicular like this. y coordinate is actually equal to y. Remember we are finding the shortest possible distance. Now uh, the equation of the parabola tells us that the distance between uh, p and f is actually equal to the distance between P and B. So the distance between P and F is actually equal to distance between P and B. What is the distance between P and F? So P and F are these coordinates that is the distance between X comma Y and minus A comma Y. 
So if I if I kind of try to use the distance formula, that's going to be the under root of x2 minus x1 whole square, which is going to be equal to I'm sorry, the coordinates of f are a comma zero, so that is a comma zero, right? So this is f. So p f is going to be equal to x2 minus x1 whole square, that is x minus a whole square plus y2 minus y whole square, which is going to be equal to y square. And what is the distance p b? So p b is actually this distance, which is going to be equal to the under root of uh, x2 minus x1 whole square, that is x2 minus x1 whole square, which is x plus a whole square. Uh, plus y minus y whole square, which is 0 square, right? So that is pf and that is pb. And since we know that pf is equal to pb, we will know that these both are equal, which means we can say that that x minus a whole square plus y square is actually equal to x plus a whole square. In that case, y square is going to be equal to x plus a whole square minus x minus a whole square. Uh, that means y square is going to be equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab uh, minus a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now, this is going to be uh, x square plus a square plus 2ax minus x square minus a square plus 2ax because this negative and this negative is going to give positive. This and this, this and this will get eliminated. We will have y square to be equal to 4ax where a is greater than 0. So you can clearly see a is greater than 0. Now this is the first standard equation of, uh, of a parabola, right? So this over here is actually the first standard equation of a parabola that any point on the parabola p, x, y, uh, which uh, is actually passing through the origin and uh, the focus is a comma zero. The equation, the the y and x are going to be related in this way. That y square is actually be equal to uh, y square is going to be equal to four a x. Now this was just for this kind of parabola. Let's suppose uh, another parabola. It's uh, let's say we've actually defined this parabola. Let's suppose I want to define the equation of uh, this parabola here. Now in that case from a comma 0 the parabola is going to have the focus point as negative a comma 0. So instead of y square is equal to 4 a x I am going to have y square to be equal to negative 4 a x because over here the a has actually become uh, negative. Now let's suppose I want to define the uh, equation of this parabola here. Now, in this case, the y has actually replaced x. So, in that case, the equation of this parabola is going to be equal to x square is equal to 4ay. Because uh, as compared to this parabola and this parabola, the y has actually replaced x. So, x square is actually going to be equal to 4ay. And so, this x square is equal to 4ay. And the last type is this kind of parabola in which you must have guessed that x square is going to be equal to negative 4ay because this becomes 0 comma negative a. The focus becomes 0 comma negative a. Over here, the focus becomes 0 comma a. Right? So, these are the standard equations of parabolas. So, this uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4, these are known as the standard equations of parabola or parabolas, whichever way you want to call it, right? Now, why have you used the word standard? By standard, uh, you know, we've actually assumed a lot of things. By standard, we have assumed, so let's suppose this is the, uh, these are the axes, this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. By standard, we have assumed that the parabola is actually passing through the origin. So the first point is that the parabola is passing through the origin, something like this right and uh, the the focus point the focus point is actually on the axis so the focus point is actually on one of the axis and the directrix is parallel to uh, one of the axis so again the directrix uh, is actually parallel to the other axis 
So if the focus is on x axis, the directrix is going to be parallel to y axis as is the case here. And if the focus is on y axis, the directrix is going to be uh, parallel to the x axis. So that's the meaning of standard, right? Uh, in the future videos, we're going to be discussing about how to define a parabola where the, uh, you know, the vertex can be anywhere, the focus can be anywhere or the directrix can be anywhere. Right now, we're not discussing that. Right now, we're only discussing the standard equations. That is y square is equal to 4ax, uh, y square is equal to negative 4ax and x square is equal to 4ax and x square is equal to 4ay and x square is equal to negative 4ay. So this is this parabola, sorry, this parabola, this is this parabola, this is this and this is this. Another important thing that you have to understand about uh, the parabolas is that actually they are symmetric with respect to the line of axis. So let's suppose if I say that this is our parabola and uh, this is the line of axis and this is the focus point here. Uh, by symmetry, I mean that this area is actually going to be equal to this area. Uh, you know, they, they're going to be like brothers and sisters. This, you know, like twin brothers or twin sisters. This part is going to be exactly equal to this part. So if I kind of read right again uh, in a different way, uh, the distance from here till here is going to be equal to the distance from here to here. The distance from here till here is going to be equal to the distance from here to here because this and this distance are going to be same too. So the, the parabolas are actually symmetric with respect to their line of axis. Uh, so that is actually again an important property for you to understand. So I suppose you've understood the uh, this about uh, standard equations. Now there is one last thing that you have to understand is what is known by is the latest rectum of a parabola. So what is known by the latest rectum of by the parabola? It's actually uh, the perpendicular distance. So it's, it's known as the, per, the perpendicular, something which is perpendicular to the uh, to the axis of the parabola, which is pa which passes through the focus point. Let's suppose if I say that this is a parabola and this is its focus point. So the latest rectum is going to be the perpendicular right from here all the way to the top and to the bottom, right? So this is known as the latest rectum. So let's try to find out what is the latest rectum of this parabola here where the focus point is a comma zero, right? So this is the y axis. This is the x axis. Let's try to find the focus point, uh, the latest rectum of this uh, parabola here. Now we already know that this is something which is A and this is the directrix. You know, this is the directrix of the uh, parabola. Now this distance, if I say, let's suppose this distance is X is actually going to be equal to this distance because that's the definition of parabola, which is going to be equal to X and this distance and this distance are going to be equal, which means this is going to be X again, which is actually equal to if this is A, this is also A because uh, you know you can clearly see that the distance from here to here is equal to the distance from here to here, something that we just defined in the previous uh, few minutes. So that means we can say that X is equal to A plus A that is equal to 2 times A. You can clearly see that X is actually equal to 2 times A, which means the length of this rectum, la latest rectum is going to be X and X. Why X? Because the parabola is actually symmetric with respect to its axis. So if this is x and this is also x, so the, the latest rectum is actually going to be equal to 2 times x, which is equal to 2 times 2 times a, which is actually equal to 4 times a. So the latest rectum of this parabola is actually equal to 4 times a. So I suppose you've understood this one here. So this would be about this video, guys. I suppose you've understood everything. We talked about standard equations. We talked about the latest rectum. And we found out four different standard equations. Uh, I suppose you've understood everything about it. Now, before we close this video, just make sure that you visit this perfect-scores.com. Explore more about us. You can ask me any question at perfect-scores.com slash forum. This would be the Facebook page. We can give me a valuable like. And this would be the email address to give us your valuable feedback. So this would be about the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.